guys uh, welcome to kumar consulting so guys uh, here in this session we'll talk about another common error and uh, what is the solution of that that i'll uh, you know explain you so one of my student actually is facing one error while posting this goods receipt okay so i'll just do one thing I'll go to oh, and that is related to posting period okay it's common guys but here now what is happening some uh, what do you say challenges are there so that is why uh, because of video is already recorded for this one how to open the period but now here there is a problem so look at here now here click on check and system is saying that posting is possible only in ninth or eighth period that is the error guys so we all know what is the solution for this one in the sense like let's suppose it means SAP is saying that this ninth and eighth period posting is only possible right now so in that case simple solution is let's suppose it is october so october means if we are using calendar year then what is happening 10th period so what we have to do you have to go to first of all you can check like mm rv and here so current period is ninth previous period is eighth so this is what we came to know so current period is ninth now if it is calendar year calendar year means uh 10th period is supposed to be open right so here you can go to mm tv and you can give the company code the company code is this one and you can give 10th period and then and you can open right you can open this okay so now you can see here if you go to mmrv yeah look at here now what is happening is still the same it means error is there so what is happening guys generally in that way we are going to do but here there is a problem okay what is the problem that i'll tell you okay now so actually first of all we have to check first of all we have to check which fiscal year is being used for this company code right and then we have to see what is the current posting period now we go to ob 29 not ob 29 guys better to go to ob 37 let me stop it okay or else OBYC also OBYC also you can check here all the assignment you can check here it is already logged by someone any noises we have to just check the intermissions so why a 90 right now double click so here y9 is the fiscal year y9 means whether it is jan to december or april to march how we will come to know so check the probably 37 here this is also locked it's okay so we have to check Sorry, not OB 37. We have to check OB 29 actual configurations. So click here. Okay. And here it is April to March, right? So what is the current period, guys? October 10th. It means seventh period, right? So which period is supposed to be open? The period supposed to be open is seventh. And which period is already open? Ninth is already open, right? Ninth is open. Now, if so, here what is happening? If you go to and if eighth was open, then also seventh period posting was allowed. If you go to here, MMRV, it says that current period is ninth and previous period is eighth, right? So if eighth was open here, the, then previous period will be seventh only, right? so in that case look at here allow posting to the previous year if you guys are able to remember the configurations right during a five m integrations we are having a checkbox and what is the logic behind that if you apply a check mark allow posting in the previous year then system will allow posting in the previous period also not previous year previous period right so that is the check mark you have applied over there and that is why it is showing that previous period posting but problem is ninth period is open it means this configuration was being done in September and 
what user has done what my student has done so the period was open like it was april to march is following but at the time of uh, doing this configurations right OMSY configuration guys from FIMM integrations that I have already explained this right so in OMSY what is happening go to OMSY here what he has done look at here so the period given was 9th it means September means 9th as per calendar year he has assigned the period so when you give 9th period here then automatically these all adjustments are going to be done and here check mark is there okay now so this is the mistake but the problem is if you are trying to open seven period here and if you save it look at here now it is not allowing you to initiate this change okay ninth itself is there so what you have to do a very small changes you have to do guys first of all you just go to i think with 18 okay yeah so here you just remove your the plant assignment company code and plant assignment is here plant is assigned with the company code you just remove this okay and save it and then you come back omsy because there in omsy uh, here this is one time what is the setting and period open and close is going to happen through or you know mmpv and if you have to check you have to use mrv right okay So here the major challenge is we have to open the previous period right not the future period so om uh, mmpv is not going to support here here you have to reset this right so now once again so if you are going to reset we are going to paste this issue so you delete the plant assignment and then open period number seven because now it is october so period number seven right and then you save it this time you won't be having any issues and then what you have to do then you just go to 18 and your plant related assignment you have to restore or your system will throw error at the time of Migo. what you have to do once again just go to Migo transition code and let me check so this error will be solved guys now if any other error is there that may appear but now this error is going to be solved okay so here let me click on okay and check if any problem is there document is okay let me post it so here this is related to account determinations right account determinations means this entry y a 90 psx 3000 is not possible right so what is meaning of this one guys okay so that is related to account assignment right you have to go to OB, YC, and BSX. Maybe this is a chart of account. So here, valuation class he has given. Valuation class, this is raw material. So, and that to standard, I think he is using. So I'll give this one. And I think again for WRX also, the same issue will be there, maybe. So go to here WRX and here also. And this is for raw material. Okay, sorry. Zero three zero is the air clearing account. Okay. So this three thousand is for raw material and this seven nine the two zero is maybe for finished goods right so that is the reason now here okay so both i have opened let me do one thing so once again go to mi zero give the PO number press enter and this time let me check here everything is fine if i'm going to save the next one is again y90 and 3000 is not possible why it is not possible guys
six and three thousand, right? So what is the valuation modifier? Here WRX is correct and compared to BSX. So IA90, that is the chart of account. And here also it's fine. It's fine only. We have already saved. Right, so there should not be any issues. What could be the next possible mistake, guys? Now here, so what is happening? Okay, so look at here, certain combinations are there. Combinations means valuation class and valuation modifier, okay? What is this valuation modifier, guys? Valuation modifier is nothing but valuation grouping code. The logic is already explained in the live classes. Now here. So how SAP is going to trigger this GL account, right? So first of all, system is going to Trigger this valuation class from Mitchell Master and this valuation modifier. Valuation modifier is nothing but valuation grouping code. Grouping code is what case? Group of valuation area. What is your valuation area? You might be using plant as a valuation area, right? So group of plant. So where is this assignment? Okay, so first of all, we have to check whether this valuation modifier or valuation grouping code is linked with your valuation area or not, right? So I'll check. So that could be also another reason where this assignment might be. So open WD, is this the T code? Yes, that is the T code. So some YA90 is the valuation area. So look at here guys. Okay, so this assignment is missing. Okay, we have given valuation grouping code or valuation modifier both are same triple zero one but this triple zero one assignment is missing here right there is a logic guys hope you might be able to remember what is the logic behind this is very important things and people are asking also during interviews and all even though these all things are going to be done by even people but still they're expecting that if i consult it they must have to answer the logic behind these configurations and that is why most of the people are getting rejected okay So now I have done the assignment here. So these are the small, small mistakes, guys, which is creating the problem. Click on check once again. Uh, let me save it. So I once again I'll enter this MIZO. Okay. And then let me give you a purchase order number once again. Not this one, the first one. Press enter. Click on check. Everything is fine. Save it. Now, this time, what is happening, guys? Per object, this is related to number ranges, guys. Number range interval 50 does not exist in FB and 1. What does it mean? 50 means. So either in FBN1, what you have to do, you have to create a number range 50 or else go to OB87, right? And which document type is going to trigger, guys? WA or WE, this one, Jules Recept, right? So here, there is the document type. So here, if you have already created any number range, you can assign that one. Look at here, I think YA. 19 by a 90 right so what is your document type what is your number range so multiple number ranges you have created assign anyone so 01 itself i'm going to assign okay so he will assign 01 and save it now what will happen so here once again you have to use mango so these are the small small issues guys may appear at the time of testing right so here check everything is fine save it now yes this time it got posted 
check the entry here. So let me check the accounting entry is fine or not. Yes, stock CRA, correct. So now this is what you have to do. So majorly, generally, it was related to posting period, right? So the posting period, wrong posting period was open. Future posting period is open. And how to reset that posting period? So once again, OMSY, we have to reset over there. So you have to delete the assignment of your plant. You can reset and then you can proceed further. This is what, this is how you have to do if future posting periods are already open. Already open.